I'm Rick Veers, sound designer and author of the Sound Effects Bible, and you're listening to Road University. Today we're going to talk about on-air broadcast microphones. These mics are specifically tailored to fit the needs of radio stations and podcasters. In these types of broadcasts, the voice is king because it's the sole method of communication. The bottom line, you need a mic that you're comfortable going live with. Rode has three microphones specifically made to handle the job. Let's start off with the broadcaster. This is an award-winning microphone that features a 1-inch true condenser diaphragm and an internal pop filter. As a bonus, it also comes with an optional on-air indicator. Next is the Procaster. This is a premium dynamic microphone specifically tailored for voice applications and features a built-in windscreen system for plosive protection. Keep in mind, because it's dynamic, it does not require phantom power. Finally, there's the aptly named Podcaster. This is a USB version of the Procaster which gives podcasting professionals broadcast quality sound with a user-friendly interface. This interface includes an onboard ADD converter and a headphone jack that allows you to monitor directly from the mic. So let's head out in the field and hear these mics in action. I'm here at WSNL Radio in the main production suite with the Rode Broadcaster. As you can hear, this is an incredible mic with a full rich sound that's radio friendly. On-air mics are designed to be used in close proximity to the talent. This means that you can eat the mic and boost the proximity effect to help your voice sound more full. Now let's switch to the Procaster. Notice that I'm using the PSA-1 to mount the mics. This studio boom arm provides a full 360 degree rotation and can be mounted to a desk permanently or with a temporary clamp. As we discussed, the Procaster is a dynamic microphone, which means that it's less sensitive than a condenser mic. This makes it perfect for broadcasts that take place in noisy environments such as bars and sports arenas. Now let's take a look at broadcasting from the comfort of your own laptop. Podcasting has allowed anyone to broadcast from virtually anywhere. The problem is you can't take your studio with you. Enter the Podcaster. This unit is not only a great sounding microphone, but also doubles as your sound card. Simply plug the mic in your laptop with a USB cable and you're ready to go. You can monitor your podcast through the headphone jack and even adjust your levels. The Podcaster is the ultimate plug and play solution that gives you the same quality as the Procaster, but with the portability of a laptop. You can also use the Podcaster to track VOs right into video editing software like Final Cut or Vegas. Now let's end this broadcast and head back to the Chop Shop. Web conferencing for work or for fun are more and more common these days. But no matter how you're using Zoom, one thing is certain. You want to sound great. AKG Lyra will ensure you stand out and are clearly heard. First, connect the mic to the device where you'll be running Zoom. This could be your computer, tablet, or phone. If you are using a phone, make sure you also have the necessary adapters to get everything connected. Once the mic is plugged in, set it in position. Lyra is sensitive, so you don't need to be right up against it, but you also don't want to be so far away that you sound distant. Then select which capture mode best suits the number of people speaking. Front is ideal when you have a single person speaking in front of the mic. Front and back is used for meetings where the participants are facing each other. Tight stereo captures wider sound in front of the mic when two speakers are side by side. Then put on your headphones and open up Zoom. Click Settings, go to Audio, then check to see that AKG USB microphone is set for both speaker and microphone. Click Test Speaker and Test Mic. You want to make sure that you can hear yourself clearly without any distortion. You may need to adjust the headphone volume and microphone gain on Lyra to fine tune your sound. Now you're ready to stand out in meetings with Ultra HD sound with AKG Lyra.
This is Hillary from Blue, and let's check out Yeti. Yeti is a multi-pattern USB microphone. As a plug-and-play USB microphone, it connects directly to the USB port on your laptop or desktop computer, and without having to download any other software, will work with your favorite recording program, whether you're recording to GarageBand or Audacity, podcasting, dictation, or even Skype. Yeti features three condenser capsules. A condenser capsule delivers that rich, detailed audio you typically find in studio recordings. As a multi-pattern microphone, Yeti offers four polar pattern options, or directions in which the mic will pick up sound. Yeti will record in cardioid, which is directionally to the front, great for instruments or single-person podcasts. Yeti will also record in omnidirectional, which is 360 degrees around the mic. This is great for band practice, a chorus, or multi-person podcast. Yeti will also record in stereo, which is right and left. This is great for instrument recording to get your right and left separation, or for voice and vocals, it gives you an open, natural room sound. And last, Yeti will record in figure of eight or bi-directional, which just means front and back. This is great for duets or interviews. Yeti features some studio controls directly on the mic. On the back, above your polar pattern selection, you have analog gain control, which allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the microphone. You can also plug headphones directly into Yeti for zero latency direct monitoring, which is great for multi-tracking or just being able to hear exactly what you're recording without any echo or delay. Yeti features headphone volume on the front, as well as a mute button in case you have to sneeze in the middle of a podcast. Yeti comes with this desktop stand, but also has a standard thread for connecting to a traditional mic stand, or the Radius, which is Yeti's custom shock mount sold separately.